Hi, my name is Mason Hall and I'm a software developer at Bloxroute Labs. Today, I will walk you through how to install the Bloxroute Gateway. The latest version that I'm using here is BDN v1.6. You should always download or upgrade to the latest version. It is highly recommended that you follow the steps on our documentation page alongside this video. Go to the link below to follow along. There are two ways to install the gateway, with a Docker container and a pip install. Both are easy, it just depends on what you prefer. Note that we have a public GitHub repository where you can see the development history and the code that is in the pip package or Docker image and audit it for yourself if interested. Links to these three resources are all available on the Bloxroute documentation page. It is best to install one gateway for each full node you run. Before we begin, let's briefly go over the requirements. We are recommending that the machine hosting the gateway has at least two gigabytes of memory and a medium to large CPU. For production instances, we do not recommend having the gateway and the instance on the same server. If you want to run the gateway in a Docker container, you'll need Docker installed. Here's the link to the Docker Hub. Running a gateway with pip requires having Python 3.7 installed on your machine, as well as the requirements listed in PyPy. Here's a link to the PyPy page below. Python 3.6 is also supported, but with reduced performance versus Python 3.7. We are currently supporting three operating systems, Ubuntu, CentOS, and Alpine Linux. It is recommended that you install your gateway on a separate server with low latency to your full node. For example, an instance in the same data center as your blockchain node. Next, we need to open up the necessary ports on this server so that the gateway can communicate with the internet. You'll need to ensure that these ports are open for inbound traffic and all outbound traffic is whitelisted. These ports are required by default. Let's start with Docker. Go to Docker Hub at hub.docker.com slash r slash blocks route slash bx gateway. Here you'll find the Docker pull command. Note that the tags tab has access to previous images of the gateway code. Now copy the Docker pull command, paste it in your terminal, and execute. Next, you'll need to get the public key. I like to get it from the geth console by running the node info command. Run the admin.nodeinfo command and get the public key from the enode. Copy and paste that in terminal. All of the gateway code is now on your machine and we need to simply start the container using the docker run command with a few startup parameters. Your command will start with docker run dash d dash dash name gateway. Dash d means running in detached mode and the container's name will be gateway. Next, we will publish the port that the gateway uses to connect with the other gateways. Dash p 1801 colon 1801. Next, we will specify the name of the image blocks route slash BX gateway. After this, we will specify the blockchain IP, the IP address of the blockchain node we want to connect to. Next, we'll specify the blockchain protocol. For this example, I'll choose Ethereum. Lastly, we specify the node public key. This is the public key from the enode of the blockchain node that we got earlier. Now that we have our command, we press enter. Let's verify that the container is running. And let's follow the logs of the gateway. As we can see here, the gateway has started. It has established a connection with its blockchain node. It has received a list of potential relays from the blockchain distribution network, and it's connecting with those relays. 
Now let's move on to the pip install. We support three operating systems, Ubuntu, CentOS, and Alpine Linux. Select your operating system. Please make sure you have Python 3, 3.7 preferred. As always, it is highly recommended to install the gateway from a Python virtual environment. Follow the instructions on the PyPy page for the specific operating system. Here we are using Ubuntu. Use your preferred virtual environment and then do pip install requests equals equals 2.22.0 and distro. Next, run pip install blocks route dash gateway to get the latest version of the gateway software. Next, let's determine our arguments for the blocks route dash gateway command. We want to prepend nohup to the blocks route gateway command so it can run in the background after we leave the terminal session. So nohup blocks route dash gateway and our first real parameter is blockchain IP, which is the blockchain IP address. Next is the blockchain protocol, dash dash blockchain dash protocol. We are going to use Ethereum for this demonstration. Next, we'll use the node public key with dash dash node dash public dash key. And at the end of our command, we will pipe the output into a logs.txt file. Lastly, we'll add an ampersand at the end of the process so it can run in the background. Execute the command. We can see that a new log file has been created. We can tail those logs using tail-f logs.txt to see that the gateway is working correctly. Let's go over some helpful troubleshooting tips. Your gateway produces a status log file that can be used to monitor its status. With our pip installed gateway, the status log is created on the host machine automatically in a folder called blocks route. You can find helpful information like relay connection status, blockchain node connection status, and if you should update the gateway to the latest version. If your gateway cannot connect to your blockchain node, there are a few things to check. Make sure the blockchain IP and port are correct. Ensure you are using the correct IP if the blockchain node is dockerized. Also double check the security groups and published ports are open to make sure traffic can get through. If your gateway is frequently disconnecting from the blockchain node, check the blockchain node's peer list and add the gateway as a trusted peer if possible. You can also find the reason for the disconnect in the gateway's logs. Detailed instructions on installation, arguments, upgrading, and logging can also be found on our documentation page. To ask our team any questions about the BDN code, installation, upgrades, the gateway, etc., visit our Discord or email support at blocksroute.com. Lastly, make sure you sign up for our support mailing list to get notified of important software updates. Thanks for following along, everyone. We hope this was helpful, and as always, Feel free to reach out to our team with any questions you may have.